Hi, good evening, and welcome to COM 542. My name is Jessica Willis, and I am your professor, instructor, teacher for this for this section of COM 542. Um, today, the lecture is going to be incredibly short. It's just going to I'm just going to be covering the syllabus and talking about expectations, course expectations, course requirements, and how the format of the course is going to work. So, really briefly, if you could get your syllabus up in front of you, the most recent syllabus was posted yesterday. Yesterday. So it should say that on the document updated 11, or I'm sorry, 1 3, I'm sorry, 1 2 2016. So in this, I would like to go over the um, first thing I'd like to go over is the course description. I mean, it's pretty um, self explanatory. We're going to be talking a lot about obviously interpersonal communication um, and group dynamics. Um, I want to take a quick second to explain how it is that I'm qualified to teach this. Um, I was a interp er, an interrogator in the Army for about 10 years, so I have a lot of experience working in understanding human relations. Um, also, my, my parents, my mother and my sister are both psychologists, so I kind of, you know, <laughs> that does not make me actually... That doesn't, I'm just, it's a joke. Okay, so anyway, um, moving on quickly talk to talk about the course requirements. Um, this course is going to be based on a point system where every assignment is um, given a set amount of, is worth a set amount of points out of a total available points, uh, uh, 1,000 total available points. I do this because I'm horrible at math, and this makes it much easier for me to, to understand what everything is worth. And I hope that that helps you as well understand what is required for the course and how much each each activity is worth. So the first part of this course um, that I want to talk about is the talking points. A lot of times in these online cl classes you are required to post on uh, discussion boards. I wanted to think about it more as, um, as if we were meeting physically, um, what I would require of students if we were meeting physically. And what I would require would be I'm not really interested in having you write out a 500 word essay or discussion post. I'm more interested in what it is that you are confused about. So what I would like you to do is take a look at the reading, complete the reading, and post four talking points by Thursday, the week of the module. So these talking points should be questions, puzzles, patterns you might be seeing, um, contradictions, and it, it can be in any format that you want, you know, bullet points, um, it can be narrative or, you know, written as an actual short essay answer. Um, however, a, a table, however it is that you want to express your, what it is that you're noticing. But I want you to think about it as if you were coming to class and we were going to all sit down and have a discussion. What were the, what are the things that you would want to bring up in that conversation? So that's the first thing. Second, this class is going to be conducted as a reverse lecture format or a reverse classroom. So the lecture is going to be done at the end of the module, and it's more about um, addressing the questions that you have brought up in the course of the reading than to actually lecture on the material. So the way that the, the modules will work is that um, the module or the week will start on Monday. Your talking points are due by midnight Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. The lecture will be posted at approximately 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. There will be a lecture activity, which will be something along the lines of, um, I'll ask you a question, you just post it in, or post your response in, the, in a forum, in the module, it may be a survey, but it's going to be really low-key. I do ask that you respond to two other students' talking points submissions no later than midnight that Sunday night. And then the week will start all over again, or the next module will start next morning. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to reach out to me and um, shoot me an email, send me a message, just let me know so that way we can clarify. Um, the... Next thing I want to talk about when it comes to the talking points and participation. So participation is worth 400 points out of that total 1,000 points that I, I mentioned earlier. Each module is worth 40, 40, to, uh, 40 points. That means that participation points. If you look on page... Hmm, oh. 
them. Sorry. If you look on page 12 of your rubric, it's going to have, uh, I'm sorry, of your syllabus, there's a participation rubric. And it breaks down what those 40 points actually are worth. So um, four points are, did the student complete the assigned online activity? That's a lecture activity. How many talking points did the student submit? Were they, um, did they sufficiently reflect the assigned reading? Um, so I break it down pretty um, pretty specifically, like you have to hit these specific wickets in order to get X number of points. So that way you don't even really need to think about like, okay, so 40 points, does that mean like, uh, do I have to use like good grammar? Like what is that 40 points worth? I broke it down for you. Very simple, very easy to read. It's on page 12. So that's 400 points. You'll notice that that means that there's only 40 points for 10 weeks. This is a 12 week course. So that gives you a little bit of wiggle room. If you have two or one or two weeks where, you know, things are just super crazy, don't worry about it. It's fine. You have a little bit of wiggle room. And if you decide to submit for all, um, all 12 weeks, that's great too. That gives you 80 extra points so you have extra credit. So, you know, you can play around with that. That gives you a little bit more wiggle room. If you say you are not so pleased with your grade for one of the short essays, etc., that gives you a little bit, like I said, of wiggle room. So moving on to the next section of the grading for this course, the short essay section. There are, this course I'm asking that each student also submit um, three short essays, 1,000, only 1,000 words each, and you can pick the topic. So what that means is that if you decide that you want to do a your one of your short essays on improving group climate, say, um, then you would have to, you can, you can do that. That's great. I think that's week five. So all I ask is that you submit that the Thursday of week five. If say you would like to do that instead of doing your participation for that week, that's great. That means you have one essay done and you've used one of your participation grades or, or your excused participation week grades. So um, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. There's also a rubric in the in the syllabus to explain exactly what it is that I'm looking for, um, and it's each of those is worth 100 points. So 300 points out of the total 1,000 points are for your short essays. Self-explanatory, I think. And finally, this course is going to culminate in a final paper, and that paper should be about 3,000 words, um, and not including your cover your, your cover page and your bibliography. Um, and I am asking that each of you would write your paper based on what I call hypotheses or core course hypotheses. It's basically taking the, the core course outcomes, learning outcomes or objectives, and I made them into questions. So that way, when you, you have that question in mind when you're writing your paper. Um, I really ask that that paper is, um, has case studies, is thoroughly researched, and has um, a, a good bibliography. And I also ask that all of your citations for both your short essays and your final paper be in MLA format. If you have any questions about how to do that, please let me know and we can work on it, definitely. Or if you have any questions on how to do research, I'm pretty good with that, so let me know. Um, also, there is a rubric for the final paper as well that is also in your syllabus, so please take a really great deep look at your syllabus. So the last thing that I want to talk about before I, um, before I close out this lecture is um, how you can get in touch with me. So I have created one-on-one -on -one, uh, one -on -one support forum on the Moodle webpage um, or the Moodle site. Um, for those of you who are familiar with Granite State College's format, this should be familiar to you as well. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact me in the one-on-one -on -one forum. It was just between you and me, so it's not going to be open to everyone else. There's also a forum that's just open to group the, the whole class, so feel free to reach out to your fellow 
um, learning colleagues there as well. Um, you can also reach me via email. I have both a Grammar State College email, which is I think like Jessica Willis at go dot I don't know. It's it's on the it's on the web page. It's on the Moodle page. You can also reach me via Gmail, which is um, on it's uh, jr dot Willis eight seven at gmail.com. Um, all of this information is also in the syllabus, so please keep that handy. The syllabus really should be your go-to for any questions before you come to me. I'm pretty sure it's pretty comprehensive, but if you do have questions, feel free. It's not a problem. I'm totally open to communicating. If you want to give me a call, that's totally cool too, although I will admit that I'm very bad about answering phone calls that I don't know recognize the number. So probably the best way to get in touch with me is via email, and then we can set up a time to talk if that's something that you really would feel strongly about. So having said all that, your course activity for today is to po post in the Who's Who forum. We already have about five or six people who have posted in there. So go ahead and get that done by Thursday. Um, if you could also please read chapters one and two by Thursday and post your four talking points by Thursday, that would be excellent. Otherwise, I will talk to you on next Sunday. Thanks and have a great week, day, etc. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye.